Welcome to Understanding Civil 3D Grading Tools and Their Processes. Today we're going to discuss a little bit about feature lines and grading tools. Okay, I'm not even going to use the PowerPoint. We're just going to jump right into this. What, the, what I've got going on here, just so you're all aware, and again, I hope everybody's hearing me correctly. What I've got going on here is what this, this project was, was a ridge, bridge rebuild. Um, and we're utilizing the same center line of the road. And what we've got going on here is we've got the two embutments here, embutment one and embutment, uh, abutment two, along with their footings. These were set up um, earlier. And I also have a pier in the center here that also has its footing. What I did was we had work points that were generated by the original drawings um, by the uh, engineer of record. And these were set up at, at elevation at the bottom of the uh, abutment on abutment one here, which was 8690. The um, footing itself is set at a two foot deeper depth, which is 88690. Over here on abutment two, we have a little bit bigger footing. This footing is, uh, uh, excuse me, this abutment, the face of the abutment is set at 886. And the bottom of the footing is set at 883. So this is a three foot footing. On the center pier, we happen to have uh, just a foot and a half footing holding the center pier. What this was, what the object of this process was, was to get this set up. Cause as you can see, we have some piping networks in here. This happens to be uh, this happens to be a, a stormwater pipe coming from the expressway or the turnpike that was up here, and that's flowing into the river, and this cannot be disturbed. And it don't show on here, but there was also a water line that run through here that need not be disturbed. So what we need to do is we need to show the slopes at a two to one slope off in these footings, so we can. Uh, uh, miss and and create the shoring so we can uh, not disturb the uh, the existing piping. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create an offset with of the feature line because we can't start our grade or our um, slopes right at the base of the footing. We have to give a two foot working environment around that. So if we come in here to create feature lines from stepped offset, it's going to ask us what the distance is, which is two foot. So you enter two foot, hit enter, um, select the object, and then select the side that which you want to offset that that feature line. Um, we're not changing the elevation. We want it set at the bottom of the footing, so we're going to leave it at zero and the and the elevation difference. And there we have the two foot offset from the bottom of the footing. We're going to go ahead and re uh, continue to do that on the other three footings. Continue to grab the feature line, decide to offset. The elevation difference is zero. And we'll go ahead and do the last one. Side to offset and the elevation difference is zero. So now we have our feature line set at where we want to start our slopes. The next thing we have to do is come into our grading tool, create a grading group. And that grading group, I'm going to start out with uh, individual grading groups. So I'm going to call this one abutment one. I want to have an automatic surface creation. We'll use the group name for that. I'm going to put this in a one in five design contours. I want to use my volume base as my existing ground from, from my contours that I had created earlier and say, okay. So again, there is our surface layer, our surface name and the style of contours that we're going to show in this grading. The next step is to come up here to the grading pull down and go to the grading creation tools. And again, here we've already set the grading group. 
We've already set the target surface, which is the existing grade. We have a layer that it's going to be the uh, grading layer is going to be set on. And over here, we're going to pick the two to one slope. As you can see, I've got a lot of different things set up for this file, but we're going to take the target surface two to one, uh, two to one cut, two to one fill. If you don't have these already set up, you can always recreate them. And if you come in here to edit current selection on this one, for instance, you're going to see that the criteria is our target surface. Our projection is cut fill slope. We want a search order, which we're going to do cut first, because on this one, more than likely, it's going to be all cut and no slope, because we're starting at the base of a river and working our way up to the existing grade. Our slope's going to be two to one. Our fill slope would also be two to one if we end up having any. So you set them parameters, and you just say OK. So now that we have set those parameters, we're going to create the grading. Creating the graining is simply grabbing that feature line that we offset. It's going to ask us to select the grading side, which is going to be the outside edge. Do we want to apply it to the entire length? And yes, we do. We want a cut slope of two to one. If you follow your command bar, you'll see these. Fill slope will be two to one. And we let it create the grading. And now you can see we've got that surface all created. Now, if I come up here to my view, view tab and open up my navigation bar, I'll go ahead and set this back to home. Grab my navigation bar. We'll center somewhere on this pier or this abutment footing. We'll take and rotate this. Okay, and you're not going to work for me. Center it, we'll orbit. And as you can see, we've got our grading all set coming up to existing grade and it ties right into that existing grade. If we stop right about in here, we're gonna see where that existing stormwater pipe runs, which it runs right through that open cut. So now we know where that shoring is gonna to have to set. We're gonna come back here and we'll rewind all this. Come back to here and hopefully this don't lock up on me and we'll set it back to the top view and we're going to continue to repeat these processes as soon as it catches up there we go so now we're going to go back in here we'll turn these grading tools off we're going to come in here we're going to do another grading group i want to do a second grading group and i'm going to call this the, the peer Again, we want to have an automatic surface generation. We're going to use the same one in five design. The volume base surface. Say OK. Now, obviously, the pier isn't going to go up as far, but we've got our surface creation already set up. We say OK. Now we'll come back up here and get our grading tools back out. We want to do the two to one slope. Two to one cut, two to one fill. Create grading. We'll grab that outside line. The offset on the grading side. And yes, we want the entire length. Hit enter. Two to one, two to one. And there we have our cut for our, our pier. Now we're going to have to do this one more time because I want these all on separate surfaces and separate gradings. So I'm going to come in here again. I'm going to set a new grading group. And I'm going to call this one abutment two. We'll have the automatic surface creation. We'll do it in the one in five design, the volume base. We'll say OK. We have a one in five design again. We have our surface creation already. We say okay. 
Now we're going to come in here and we're going to create our grading all over again. We got abutment two. We've got our existing surface. We want to hit this with a two and one slope, two and one cut, two and one fill. And then again, create grading. Grab the outside edge, do the offset. We'll apply this to the entire length. Two to one, two to one cut slope, two to one fill slope. And there we have it. So now we have all of our grading completed. Now, what this has accomplished for me, not only can I tell you exactly where this pipe's going to run through this and where we're going to need shoring on any other piping that may be in there, is it's also going to tell us how much farther outside that temporary construction easement we're actually going to be going with this, with this uh, slope. And again, if we get a good look at this, you'll see exactly how much ground is going to be coming out of here. We'll center it somewhere around here, around the pier. We'll grab the orbit tool. And you can see where the existing ground was, especially on this pier. We'll zoom in. You can actually see where the existing ground was here. could haul it out of there. This was a very interesting job. I really enjoyed this job. Not only did it allow me to do that, it allowed me to have uh, uh, to set up the points. Let's go back in here to the top view again. It allowed me to get all the points set up as soon as it catches up. If we come in here and thaw that all out, you'll see all the points. It allowed me to set points to where the water line was, where it was projected to be. And also I had points set up in here to where I could have um, them lay out where the edge of the cut was. So top of slope abutment one. I had all the points with northern and easting so the surveyors could lay all them lines out. Abutment two, top of slope. Had me, I was able to set all the water line points where the storm drain was setting. And then we also created the causeway and set points to, the, to that causeway. So we knew exactly where that had to be built to get around all this cut and fill. Again, I'm sorry I was so late getting in here today. Um, I do have time for a lot of questions. I wasn't able to complete this because I was stopped early because I thought this wasn't happening today. So I would like to uh, ask, uh, reach out and see if anybody has any questions at this time. But again, thank you all very much and I appreciate your time.